Hi, my name is Ken Martin, and today I'm going to show you how I do some of my mono to stereo conversions. I did a video showing how I converted the American Top 40 theme from mono to stereo, but I never actually showed you the program that I used to extract all the individual pieces. That was Magic's Spectral Layers Pro 5. This program allows you to pull a piece of audio into it and then separate it out using frequencies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a, a song here. This is Del Shannon's Runaway. This song has never been available in stereo. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to extract the organ part in the middle of it. And this is what it sounded like. <laughs> Okay, that organ is really prominent, and what you are looking at here is a waveform broken out into frequency over time. So at the bottom of this display are the bass notes, and then as you go up towards the top, you get higher into the frequencies, up into the treble, and in between is all of the instrumentation. So if you can notice, right about here at this point where I've got the cursor, Okay, right there is the beginning. That's a piano where it dun 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 dun. That's the piano part. Okay, but we're interested in the organ part, which follows, and that starts right about here. You can see the organ part right here, this green line here, and various notes as they're going through and playing the part. Spectral Layer will give you this tool over here called Harmonics Selection. Now this, once you come over here and start highlighting an area where the organ is, you can see that it not only highlights what they call the fundamental frequency, that's the bass frequency, but it also highlights all of the, the harmonics that are associated with it. And you really kind of need these to, to make the organ sound complete, otherwise it's not going to sound correct. There is a tool here that's just a frequency selection that will select just that one frequency. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight just this one frequency here, just this one, and leave all the harmonics out of it. And let me play what this sounds like. That's the recognizable organ part, but that's not all of it. So I'm going to come back over here to harmonic selection, and I'm going to do the same thing again, except choosing the harmonics and I'm just going to drag the cursor along and get all of the harmonics from that one note. And let's see what this sounds like. Okay, it sounds much closer to what the actual instrumentation sounds like because you need those harmonics to make it happen. And so now dun 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 bump there's a uh, uh, he hits another key here, and if I zoom in via the frequencies, I can see that right here is where that note is. And I'm kind of uh, I'm highlighting that and extending along because there's a little bit of a reverb trail that I want to get. And so now you can hear that I've got that note. And if I continue along choosing this these frequencies, I'm choosing things that I think are going to be the note. If they're not right, I can come back and unselect them. But right now, I'm going to choose all of those. Okay, so I've gotten most, uh, I've got like a couple of seconds worth of it here. I'm going to continue here, and I believe that that's part of the note, and certainly this is part of it, and right here. There's a uh, another key and harming our harmonics that are here, and I can continue on all the way through this uh, instrumental piece just by selecting what I think are going to be the notes that are being played on this organ. All right, that's pretty good. So I got a couple of seconds worth of it here. Let's see what I got. Now that I've got it highlighted, yes, what do I do with it? Well, I need to cut it out. So that's a Control-X, which will delete or cut 
just like you're cutting away in a word processor or in Photoshop. And I'm going to come down here to the new layer icon and I'm going to select and create a new layer. I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to call this organ. And then I'm going to paste. And you see now it's pasted it in here in a, it, it, you can see it in blue. I can change that to whatever color I want. So let's change it to red. And now I can solo that. That's the S. Okay. So I've soloed that. And now I'm going to go back and go back into the original piece of audio. And I can see that there's some pieces here that I've left behind uh, that I missed. So, and that can be the adjustment on what you grab and what you don't grab is done up here with your tolerance and your maximum width. So I'm going to go ahead and increase this tolerance to 1 and maximum width will then choose how far along this piece is. So let me go ahead and I'm just going to expand that out to 8 tenths of a second. because It gives you the ability to grab more of that piece to the left and the right of the cursor. So you got to be careful sometimes because if you go too far see it will grab stuff that you don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and unselect that and I'm going to pull this back down put that at like uh, one tenth of a second. I'm going to go ahead and grab this piece and you can hear that that's I've left part of the organ behind because I didn't get it in the first pass because I had the tolerance set very strict. So again, here's that other note. Okay. So again, I'm going to select that and I cut it. I'm going to come back over here to the organ and paste that back in here. Okay. So now it sounds much more complete. Back over to the to the full piece of audio. And you can hear that I've got most of it. There's this little chirp of the organ right here. Okay. I'm going to come back over here, paste that back in, and let's listen. All right, so I got that organ. Okay, so this is the beginnings of what you got to do to start extracting the audio for the, uh, for the DES, the digitally extracted audio. So we've now grabbed maybe five seconds of the organ from Runaway, and you got to do this for the entire two minutes and 20 seconds of it, pulling out the organ, the piano, the bass, the vocals, as much as you want to extract, that's up to you. And once you get that done, then you've got to mix it back down, panning stuff to the left and to the right. What you are looking at right now, I'd mentioned this earlier about the American Top 40 theme song. This was the theme song that I used and initially was my first introduction to spectral layers. As you can see down here in the lower right hand corner, I've got a lot of different layers of stuff that I have broken out in this theme song. Let me go ahead and play what this sounds like real quick. <laughs> All right, that's the original American Top 40 theme song. But I have a mid-sub melody that I called this. I have the opening melody, which I, uh, which I called this. Okay, I even got down to the point where I've got this thing called the meow. People talk about this in the American Top 40 theme song, and it sounds like this. Kind of that sick cat meow. Some people love it, some people don't, but listen for it as I play the whole thing. See how tedious this can get when you're trying to pull out all of this stuff. That's an idea of how Spectral Layers Pros works. This is a good program. It's very tedious. There are other programs out there that will help you along. Uh, those are a little bit more expensive and I haven't uh, been able to delve into those just yet. But for an initial introduction to how this thing works, 
that's how you pull the stuff apart. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, any comments, questions, you can leave those uh, in the comments section below. My name is Ken Martin, and I thank you for watching.